Hi, it's Denise from Wonderland Boutique. It is 4.46 a.m. and you can hear the crickets chirping. We are getting ready to do our first craft show of the fall season, which is Dwight Harvest Days in downtown Dwight. And setup is the same day as the craft show. And we have an hour drive, so we have to get started very early. I went to bed at nine o'clock at night last night, so I'm gonna show you what it's like to set up an outdoor craft show in a 10 by 10 spot. So come along with me for the day and we'll see how it goes. Hey everybody, we made it down to Dwight and we've started to set up the tent and get everything ready to go. Since this is an outdoor show, we have to have weights, the tent, the sides, a lot more than a normal indoor show. Um, yes, sans makeup and my hair is a mess because I'm sweating, it's extremely humid and I'm not gonna put makeup on until we're done because um, it's a disaster. But if you wanna see how this turns out, uh, keep watching because we have lots of cool footage and show you what it looks like to do an outdoor show. Just watch me. Hello, welcome back. Um, I'm a mess, like bloody mess right now. It rained, it's super humid, don't have makeup on yet, my glasses are fogging up, but the booth is set up. We've had to drop the sides a couple times because of the rain that's coming in. Tomorrow forecast, not good. Heavy, heavy rain and heavy, heavy winds. So fingers crossed it passes us, but I wanna show you what it looks like all set up now. All my bows are handmade, and if you've seen any of my tutorials, some of these styles are already up on there. Now something I haven't done a tutorial on yet is my Wonderland all natural and organic lip balms. Now these are hot sellers I just restocked. Um, except I'm out of chocolate peppermint. So I have pink grapefruit, orange dreamsicle, margarita, which is a crowd favorite, lemon, spearmint, all natural, which means no sensor flavors, and peppermint. And then I also have my Wonder Salve, which is great for eczema, bugs and bites, skin burns, rashes. Now these are streamers that I have for sale. This is what you see all my bows on. I have extras for sale awesome embroidered keychains. I'm definitely going to do a tutorial on these. And then these are the lip balm holders. So you just put a lip balm in there and you have it on your keychain. Wonder Bands, another embroidery that I do. So they're awesome. They slide on and off and you can switch them out to different headbands. Shirts are looking well stacked, I have to say. This one is automatically one of my favorites. Waiting for my letter from Hogwarts. Simply meant to be Look at this cute one for a newborn. So many choices. Oh yeah, look at this one. I love mom. That's great for anybody. More shirts, my ponios. I haven't done a tutorial on those, but if you're interested, let me know. And then over here are my $3 bows and up. Now you will see some of these from my tutorial. If you've seen how to make a mini bow and how to do a basic bow, these are them. So hopefully you've seen those. I've also, this is another tutorial I did on a large pinwheel. Moving on down, I also go up in price to keep it easy and simple for everybody to find. Now these are my embroidered felties. Then my, one of my more recent tutorials was how to make a large pinwheel bow, which is this style. And the bow that I made in that tutorial is even here today for sale somewhere. I don't know where, but it's here. It's all over the place. Mom's helping. 
I'm hoping for a good show today, fingers crossed. Um, I'll definitely show you a little more later on and I'll show you how to disassemble this masterpiece. So hopefully you've enjoyed and welcome to Dwight Harvest Days. We're here. Uh, due to the rain and the impeding doom that's coming, husband is taking the camera home, but if I catch anything fun or interesting, um, I might input some uh, camera footage and some pictures from the day. So thanks for watching. Okay, Harvest Days in Dwight is over. Um, it was a little bit shorter of a show than anticipated. Saturday we dealt with rain all day on and off when it wasn't supposed to rain at all and ended up doing better than I thought uh, despite the rain. However, it was sweaty, humid, hot mess. So definitely exhausted. Um, I was up at 3 a.m. to get the day started and then didn't get home till after one by the time I went to bed it was two um, and so I was an hour short of 24 hours being up anyways so Sunday was calling for 30 mile per hour winds they were calling for flash flood warnings and just torrential rain so myself and a lot of other crafters ended up packing up Saturday night and not coming back Sunday I did talk to the craft show organizer just to make sure there's no hard feelings I'm still good for next year because some places are very testy about that but with the weather coming I've tried to handle storms before and they've not turned out favorable I've lost a tent I've lost product I've seen people lose thousands and thousands of dollars worth of stuff and even on Saturday there was a couple tents that went flying some guys tent blew over and then ripped on somebody else's tent. You never know what you're getting into with outdoor shows. That's why I don't do too many true outdoor shows each year. Um, but I will be back for Harvest Days next year. I hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and the notification icon so you can be alerted every time I upload new videos. And make sure you're following Wonderland Boutique on Instagram and Facebook. So it's Denise from Wonderland Boutique and hope to see you again real soon. Bye-bye.